right. How about it, everybody? It's KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM, 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. You know what it means. It's time once again for Open Mic Radio. <laughs> Going to get it rolling with one uh, from our featured artist today, all right? This is Highway Demon. If those guys are ready out there, let's rock and roll. Yeah, Okay, we good? This song is called Family Tree. How about it? Highway Demon on Open Mic Radio this afternoon. Welcome to the program. Uh, it's great to be with you all. It is uh, Saturday, the 24th of August, and it's great to be with you on another wonderful Saturday There's afternoon. It's all yours, I'm sure, Mike. It's always mine, right? <laughs> Lots of great music in store uh, for the next couple hours. A few friends dropping by to say hi, as they might do. Uh, anyway, glad you're with us, all right? We do this most every Saturday afternoon. Uh, from 4 to 6 p.m., live music and interviews with some of Missouri's finest musicians and bands. Uh, we're going to do it again today, all right? I'm joined, uh, as usual, by my good friend, Kind Kurt. Yeah, Memphis Chris is with I us here. We got, uh, we got, we got, you know, I decided... Thanks for tuning in, New Haven. New Haven, all right. So, I, I Memphis has a nickname. It's Memphis Chris. Kurt has a nickname, Kind, kind Kurt. And I was seeing, I had to come, come up with something for Clark. 
because Clark was playing the percussion on the opener there, which was so awesome, by the way. And, and I'm like, well, what am I going to call Clark? And I decided I, it's C Lark is uh, what I'm going to be calling you from now on. So I got C Lark, I got Memphis Chris, I got uh, I got kind Kurt in the house here. Paul Myers here. Uh, Jeff Jeff Basson's in here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Mo Jazz Festival. Play some songs from uh, some of the artists that are performing there. Uh, anyway, kind of gloomy out there today. An excellent afternoon to settle down at home and listen to some good radio. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, once again, um, we have Highway Demon with us. They've got brand new music out and hot off a great show last night at Hit Records. Uh, we'll get to know them a little bit better and hear a bunch of their songs it's this afternoon. Like to me, Mike. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, for us, certainly, but not for the rest yeah, of the yeah. world. I think I think that happened yesterday. But anyway, um, we have uh, the wonderful Mr. Dylan McCord uh, doing sound for us this afternoon. Uh, I mentioned Jeff Bassinson from uh, the, the Mo Jazz Festival with us. We're going to uh, preview some of the, the stuff happening at the festival this year. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we might get a call from John Randall from the Hootenhollers. They're, they're out on the road promoting their new remarkable record, actually, called The Devil's Egg. And uh, anyway... Um, Looking forward to seeing uh, if, if we get with them today. Justin Hickerson probably dropping by. Uh, you never know who else, all right? So um, at some point, we may try to do a little rundown of what's happening around town. I was thinking Cooper's, but they may have been rained out this afternoon. Does anybody know if they actually did the shows at Cooper's this afternoon? Um, well, the phone lines are open, 443-8255, 443-7380, if you want to uh, give us a buzz and bring us up to snuff on what's happening out there. Um, Kurt probably has a... Uh, a lowdown on some of the other things happening. I do not have the lowdown. <laughs> <on first. laughs> but we'll, we'll 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 do that later. Okay. All right. Um, we are down here as usual at the KOPN facilities, 401 Bernadette Drive. Awesome afternoon down here. Got a bunch of friends and a bunch of people here to see Highway Demon. Really fun show last week. We had uh, Thad Requit and uh, and a gentleman named Scott Donigan. I was sort of you know you never know what's going to happen very here, and I was I was very very, very pleasantly talented. surprised. I didn't know what we were going to get, but a couple of great singer songwriters and really great guitar playing from from uh, from Scott. But anyway, they played some songs, and uh, we had uh, uh, a, a kind of cool nerdy tech talk. <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was. We, we, we were more. We were, we were. No, your mic's on. I don't think we, so. Yes, it is. Yeah. As he switches to the other mic. Anyway, uh, if you missed the show, not. check it out. All right, get the podcast. It's yeah, all out there, it's and, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. A couple more things. We'll get to the music. Big thanks to Peter Rabbit grooving on the one mic since uh, since two o'clock. Uh, two a. M? No, 2 p.m. Ah. Right? Before that, Motherland Jam with Morgan. All right, that's noon to two. Uh, we do it from six until, uh, what? Well, no, we do it four to six. Uh, six until eight, we've got, of course, Ross Shumba and a reggae party. Ross Shumba! <laughs> and uh, that'll be coming at you from six o'clock till eight. Wonderful stuff. Roots Rock reggae music. Did somebody say Ross Shumba? Ross Shumba. Ross Shumba. Uh, from eight to 11, Rashumba. Blues on Broadway. Great stuff with Chris. Uh, you know, and. Uh, Chris has been telling me for years. Uh, Chris Puya, who does the uh, uh, who does blues on Broadway from eight to eleven, he's been telling me for years. You know, pay attention to the blues scene down in Jeff City, and of course, I, I hadn't. But in the last six months to a year, I've really sort of gotten um, connected with the the music scene down there in Jeff City. I was actually down there last night um, visiting with Steve um, and Sean and some friends down at Gumbo Bottoms. Nice. Uh, but Bannister Tarleton uh, and his band were playing, actually a sort of a limited version of the band, were playing down there on the sidewalk. Um, cool. And I, I, had a, I had a wonderful time and I got to visit with a bunch of people that I hadn't seen for a long time. But there's a real cool music scene happening in Jeff City and uh, we're trying to bring some of that up here to Columbia and and, and and, you know, get us more, uh, more, more connected. So thanks to all those people that are making that happen. Jeff is very familiar with that. I, I, I think so. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, highway demon is here. Memphis is here. Clark's here. Kurt's here. Dylan's here. Uh, Jeff's here. Uh, Justin, maybe not, but, uh, anyway, I guess we're ready to roll. Okay. Oh, we have all right. 
Paul. If if you Paul's want sitting in on the base. Paul Myers here yeah, as well. Myers, Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, if you want to be a part of it, give us a ring. In the meantime, we're just going to have some fun. Here's some great music like we do on Open Mic Radio every Saturday. All right. Uh, KOPN.org, MikeHagan.com on the web. And let's do it, okay? For today's show, we have an outstanding rock and roll band by the name of Highway Demon. We are going to learn a little bit about them. But first, let's see if we can convince them to play another song. Yeah. And uh, we'll come back and do that. You guys want to do another one? <laughs> okay, that's the end of the show. These guys are out. So, <laughs> all right, open mic radio, KOPN. Let's do it. Highway Demon. This song is called Strangers. is here with the uh, Mo Jazz uh, Festival, so I'm going to have you guys take a break for a couple minutes. In fact, um, when you're done taking a break, come on into the studio, because I want to talk a little bit about the band and, and find out a little bit about you guys. But in the meantime, well, I, I got Jeff in there, though. But you're right. No, all right. But and I love it. I can do it anywhere I want. How about that? All right. Um, anyway, back in uh, just a second as I run into the other studio, but uh, Highway Demon with us. You guys say hi. Uh, hey, what's let, up, y'all? Uh, let, let people know how to find you on the web and all that stuff, and that'll, that'll give me a minute to get in the studio. All right? Find us on Instagram, Highway Demon. Find us on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube, all that. Anyway, but... Get, yeah. a, get a cassette tape. Get a cassette tape. Buy a T-shirt. We got SpongeBob on the shirt. You can money. find us. We'll be drinking beer and smoking cigarettes. Exactly. Obviously. All right. How about it? Uh, open mic radio, KOP in Columbia, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to switch gears here for a second and uh, and say hello to my friend Jeff Bassinson. Jeff um, is. Uh, uh, stalwart in the uh, music scene here for many many years here in Missouri, and he is a big part of the uh, of the Mo Jazz Music Festival that's been happening. Uh, how, how many years has the has the Jazz Festival been going on? Uh, jazz Festival in its uh, original state started in 1992. We 92. Moved it, we moved it to Columbia in 2018. Where was it originally? It was in Jefferson City. It was called the Capital Jazz Fest. Huh. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, well, you and me have been kind of doing this for the last few years, uh, kind of uh, previewing some of the artists uh, uh, and songs that are going to be uh, going to be heard at the festival. What, what, what's happening this year? What are you, what are you excited about? Uh, well, once again, we've got five uh, different groups, uh, each one showing a distinct style of, um, of jazz that is uh, different than all the others. So you're never going to hear the same thing twice. Uh, it's always five groups. Uh, it's always free. It's always open to the public. It's always family friendly. Um, and it's uh, the 7th of September. Yeah, that's right. Right. It'll be two weeks from the day. Doors open at noon. Music starts at one. Um, big band, uh, jazz fusion groups. Uh, um, we've got a Latin jazz orchestra coming from KC this year. Right. We right, haven't, right. haven't had a whole lot of that uh, recently. So The Bob DeBoo Quintet is the one I'm... I mean, it's all really good stuff, but that one sort of caught my ear when I was listening to the clips that you sent me. Mm -hmm. He um, he's actually been a, a journeyman out, out of St. Louis. He's a, a fantastic bass player and also teaches. Really, but he's also played uh, with several of the uh, individuals who are touring nationally that he'd pick up and play at the We Always Swing Jazz series. And uh, so he um, he's he's coming in uh, this year to play with his quintet. Believe it or not, he's actually playing with one of our board members who's going to be the drummer, and that's Bruce Fleming. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Bruce is an incredible drummer. Yep. Well, uh, hey, what, what's your connection to the We Always Swing gang? Are you guys pretty uh, uh, friendly? Or? Oh, yeah, we're very friendly. Uh, one of the first things I did when we first moved up here is I contacted uh, one, one, our main sponsor, and uh, then I also got a hold of uh, Josh and John at We Always Swing yeah, yeah. to say this is what we want to do. Josh we, is amazing. I've known him yeah, for years. Yeah, yeah, he's excellent, excellent folks. They've... They had an open arm policy when I said we want to bring it up here. They said if you guys are going to be supporting jazz and promoting it, come on, come on up. Let's do this thing. So they help us out on social media. They always share our stuff. We always share their stuff. I've been buying their season tickets for I think I'm up to four years now. <laughs> and and they always at least one of them shows up at our our event over at Rose to help promote their new because this sort of coincides with their new season starting up. They just had their big kickoff on on the roof last Sunday. I think awesome so um yeah so uh yeah they've, they've been very very um supportive of us coming up here all right so the festival coming up on the 7th of september it's a saturday it's out at rose park yes and there are five uh different uh, projects that are going to be performing or, 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 or groups bands i should say right um and, and, and including the Mizzou Concert Band, right? Right. We hadn't had them since 2016. Uh, they were doing some reorganizations, and we were finally able to get them in. It uh, had taken a while to... Um uh, and coordinate it with uh, uh, Dr. Sam Griffith as the head of jazz studies over there. And uh, he, we'd always been trying to find the right date and time and all that. And we finally got it to work. So they'll be opening up this year. All right, let's play a little clip from, uh, from one, of the, one of the tracks that you sent me from, from the Mizzou Concert Jazz Band, all right? Right. Um, it, it was actually written by Sam Copeland, who is the bass player that you're hearing. Uh, he went to Mizzou, and he's now officially... Uh, um, I think he got his uh, graduate degree in Kansas City, and he's still in Kansas City and um, plays a lot of gigs in Kansas City. Uh, Copeland is a you know pretty interesting musical name. <laughs> I knew. I mean, I, I hate to ask, but any, any relation to all the other? Not the, that I know, unless Aaron, <laughs> unless Aaron Copeland, I think, was originally from Montana or something yeah, like that. I'm so. thinking of the of, of the um, the drummer for the Police. Uh, Stuart Copeland. True. He was True. a remarkable, good. Uh, right? Good Wonderful player. Yeah. Good, good oh, player. so so good on the hi hat. He would. I mean, I, and I'm not a really good drummer, but I can recognize uh, good stuff. But anyway, let's let's hear a little bit here from uh, the Mizzou Concert Jazz Band. You can catch them on the 7th of September out at Rose Park, and uh, we'll hear um, a little bit more from uh, some of the artists that are going to be performing there as well. Okay. All right. Check this out. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia.
All right, I'm just going to kind of lower this in the background here and, and, and bring Jeff back on with me. But, Jeff, you're saying this is a recording that was actually uh, uh, recorded in 2015? Right, this is uh, from the 2015 Capital Jazz Fest. It was one of the last times we had the um, uh, Mizzou um, Concert Jazz Band come play with us. And uh, this is an original piece written by Sam Copeland, who's the bass player. All right. And um, what's the makeup of that band? How big is it? It's a. It's going to be an 18 piece. Jeez. Yeah. So um, five trumpets, five trombones, five saxophones, keyboards, bass, and and uh, what do we got? Actually, no keyboard this year. Huh. Um, bass, guitar, uh, and they might have a solo. Might have a soloist who plays uh, with the last band because he, he had known him. Had known uh, Sam from uh living in denver together so it's possible we might have a little a little <laughs> little collaboration a little co- collaboration going on i love it so, i love i love when that happens yeah. all right so tell me tell me a little bit more about um uh the band james uh the james ward band right uh they're out of kansas city uh they're also known as the jwb okay uh they are more of a funk fusion um a la like david sanborn cool. style like late 80s uh, i love Sam- 90s I think stuff david sanborn died recently yes he did unfortunately yeah, just w- wonderful uh, jazz musician great saxophonist right. and uh, and yeah. from kirkwood missouri is that right yeah i didn't know that yeah Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, they've uh, they've played uh, they played twice in, in Jefferson City. They played it our first year here in 2018, and we brought them back again this year. They're bringing a, it's a six piece with a vocalist, and uh, so and they've they've written several um, original pieces. As a matter of fact, the one you're listening to, if you're playing Sahara, yeah, that's an original piece written by the band. All right. Let's uh, sh- let, let, let's also from our recordings. All right. So, and when was this one recorded? 2018. Okay. All right. All right. Let's 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 get a get a little feel for this one. Okay. This is Sahara from the James Ward Band or uh, JWB. All right. It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia. Jeff Bassinson in the studio with us this afternoon. The Mo Jazz Festival is happening on September 7th. That's two weeks from today, and it's an all day sort of thing. I think it starts at like noon, and 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 it'll go until dark at least. But right. the doors open at noon. The music starts at one, and we finish up around eight o'clock or so, depending on how good the changeovers go. Okay. All right. Well, it's going to be a great event, and uh, once again, here's a little sample of something you'll uh, probably hear in a couple weeks. James Ward Band, this is called Sahara. This one's called Sahara. do this on the air what are you saying about this one this was one when we first moved up to uh, Columbia we didn't have a person doing multi-track recordings so this was actually front of house sound and some of the sounds we picked from the like right off the board uh, right directly off the board and also um, to get a little bit more uh, uh, ambiance we actually used the, the audio from the four video cameras that we we shoot because we also record the cards there with their so you microphones audio on, on the as video well. as well yes yeah absolutely and then we create videos and put them up on our youtube website which is jazz forward initiative all right so. yeah yeah uh that that's i've never been to, to the youtube is there a bunch of stuff there or? Oh, um uh-huh. 45 recordings maybe Hell yeah. a lot of stuff from um you know from the uh early 2010s and then also, we, we, there are some other ones that are floating around that are actually from the old jazz festival from 2004 
Um, we've got Tom Andy's quartet. He was with Kevin Hennessy, oh, Jake yeah. Hanselman. All those guys. And if you remember, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, Vibes Players in Chicago now. Chris Graham, I think. Mm. Was, it, was it Chris? Not familiar. Can't remember. Well, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they played one of Tom's originals, and they were actually on the Capitol steps in 04. So. Incredible. All right, so uh, we also have... Oh, actually, you mentioned it, uh, at the beginning of our spot here that there's a Latin jazz uh performance as well right there's uh, Pablo Sanhueza is the uh, director of the Kansas City Latin Jazz Orchestra and uh, they will be coming and this is the first time that I can recall that they've ever ever been at one of our events and uh, it's supposed to be a nine or ten piece primarily the with uh, you know the whole conglomerate of Latin Latin percussion uh, with the keyboards bass player and uh, Memphis Chris familiar with that Latin stuff back yeah. from the Los Desterados days yeah, 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 it's uh, it's really fun. They, I've, I've heard them before. We haven't, like I said, we haven't recorded them. I had to find a, a piece of, of what they were doing, and uh, like I said, they're good enough. They'll get you up and moving, All which right, is really fun. Let, let's get let's give this a listen and see what uh, what the uh, KC Latin Jazz Orchestra sounds like. It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia. I wish Zenny was here. I have, I have, a, I have a close friend uh, named Zenny Reynolds, uh, who's sort of an icon around Columbia. He's a uh, former professional kickboxing world champion, and <laughs> he also has worked down at Shakespeare's for many, many years. And he's sort of a man around town. He owns actually owns a gym called uh, Zen's Gym. It's down there on um, on East Broadway, uh, across mm-hmm. from. Uh, like Willie's or whatever. It's in the, uh, my sister circus. The, uh, it's it's right there next to, uh, in the back side of that building. But anyway, Zenny is uh, he's a really skilled athlete, but he's also a remarkable Latin dancer, and uh, he's a good dancer. Uh, he is an amazing dancer. He's to come. Yeah, he's Remember a good he, dancer. Los he, Testerados he, or La Movida. He games. would come to your shows and dance, and yeah. people would just kind of like stare at him and his girl or whatever. But anyway, Zenny's a great dude, and. Um, uh, a real close friend of mine, and uh, I wish you were here to hear this. So, anyway, okay, um, uh, Jeff. We also uh, so this Bob Debu uh, thing. I really dug. I uh, really dug. Uh, you sent me a clip called "Everybody's Jumping." Right. Um, That's. Uh, it was written by uh, Dave Brubeck. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bob, Bob Debu was um, was playing at the uh, Jazz St. Louis, and he was doing called the 1959 Project. And what's Bob Debu's background? Um, well, he's a, a bass player, uh, uh, upright and electric. He's been in St. Louis for several years. I actually saw him play at one of our earlier festivals. Uh, um, as a, a, a backup um, person for Aaron Bodie, who was a, a woman vocalist. Bud McDonald in the house, by the way. <laughs> Provoke the Colossus, baby. Okay, sorry, Jeff. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, 1959 Project, four um, um, amazing albums were released in 1959, mm-hmm. and he's playing pieces from each one of them. This one was one of the Dave Brubecks that was actually on the, uh, like, Take Five. Yeah. You know, the, yeah, yeah. The album that had that, well, yeah. the tune yeah. that they were playing was on that as well. All right, let's... But, yeah, let, let, let's hear a little bit of this, and then we'll come back and uh, and we'll hear a little bit from from the headliner. Yep. Right. All right. Check this out. This one is uh, once again Bob Debu, and uh, no, who, who was the writer? A oh, Brubeck. Yeah, Dave Brubeck wrote the tune, but it's it's a Bob Debu. Actually, it's a sextet. Yeah. But we have a quintet coming in. Always a, a big corral of players to be able to choose from depending on who's got a date available is how it right, works right. So. all right check this out it's open mic radio KOPN Columbia
Dude, who's playing the keys on that? Um, I actually have that written down somewhere. Oh, that's Alan Manis. He's also um, an amazing keyboard player out of the St. Louis area. He picks up a lot of, you know, um, gigs just like Bob Debu does. Yeah. You know, like have have instrument will travel type. Huh. All right, very very, very cool. Um, yeah, Bob Debu, and that would be uh, on my list for one, one one of the acts I certainly would like to see on the seventh of September. Um, once again, the Mo Jazz Festival happening in a couple weeks, and uh, Jeff's joining me in the studio this afternoon. Um, tell me about Paco. Uh, Paco, just Paco. like just like Taco. <laughs> no, like, that's that's how they introduce I'm, it. I'm yeah, like, like I'm like Taco. I'm like Paco. No, no <laughs> Paco. Okay, uh, and and for those out there uh, not not having the visual, it's P A A K O W. Um, so Paco. All right. Right. Uh, it, it's Paco and his Afro Fusion Orchestra. The gentleman's from uh, Ghana, West Africa, but has been living in Denver for several years. I wonder if Morgan's familiar. You know who does Motherland Jam here? Because uh, he's at, at any rate. No, go. It, well, it's very possible because yeah. they actually. Uh, I, I got an unsolicited email from them in the early uh, 2019, saying, "I understand you have a jazz festival. We're looking to do a mid." Um, mid states tour. Um, this is what we sound like if you're interested. And it turns out we we really really like them, and because uh, once again funk fusion, you know it's, uh, it's some R and B, but it has a lot of African overtones over the top of it, and it's just really really interesting stuff. And um, they they played for about an hour and oh about an hour and ten minutes in 2019, and nobody sat down the entire time. <laughs> and I have video to prove it. <laughs> So okay. this is a recording from from 2019's performance. All right, here's a here's a, a clip from uh, from Paco, uh, and uh, his Afro Fusion Orchestra, and you're listening to it here. It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia. Jeff, awesome that you came down this afternoon. Uh, uh, what's the response so far for for the show? Are you looking forward to a big crowd? Or you got you got you got a lot of interest, or what's happening? Uh, our goal has always been we would like to have a thousand people show up throughout the course of the day because if you've noticed, it's a lot of people. Yeah, and w w well, in 2019 we had 702. Wow. <laughs> and so yeah, and unfortunately COVID has just kicked that ever since. So all we ask for you don't have to all be there at the same time. Just come down and but say just hi. Come down and say sometime hi. during the day, sometime and during the afternoon. We, we would love to have those numbers because that's we don't want to make it any bigger than that we want people to be comfortable and enjoy the music all right i love it i think it's a great idea and um and uh let's hear a little bit from uh from paco here back in a minute it's over mic radio kop in columbia yeah yeah go ahead Jeff. i was gonna say this starts off a little easy yeah and then, then it kicks in so we'll give we'll give it a minute yeah I, I get it. Ab <laughs> absolutely. Um, all right. So a bunch of great music happening uh, on the 7th of uh, September out there in Rose Park and uh, including uh, 
Pacao or Paco. Paco. Yeah. yeah. And his and, and his uh, Afro fusion orchestra. All right. Uh, how, you said those guys approached you, huh? Yeah, back in 2018 or 2019, I, I got an unsolicited email and they're saying, well, "We heard you've got this, you know, festival going on. That's so awesome. We want to create a, you know, a is, Midwest is, tour." Is, is that not what you're looking for, right? Well, yeah, right? absolutely. I, I, honestly, like when when you get an email like that, it, it, for me, like that makes my heart kind of kind of go. I have the same sort of thing here at the radio thing because. I'm always out there looking for bands that that want to that I can get to come and play on the program, you right. know. But but once in a while I'll get I'll get a note from somebody who I didn't solicit, and they'll say, "Hey, I heard heard your show with these other guys or whatever, and and me and my band would like to come on the program or whatever." Right, man. I, if you're listening to this, please take that to heart. Um, you know that's that, that's what it's about. We're really really looking to share share your stuff with with as many people as we can that's that that's the project of this of this radio station and this show in particular certainly so was well, jazz is, has been expanding so much and you know, anything can fall into that category uh and fusion is not always just the electronic stuff from the 70s mm. i mean I've, i saw common of all people on the main stage at the monterey jazz festival with some killer players behind them yeah, yeah. but you can mix you know socially conscious hip-hop with you know with a, a good jazz you know fusion group and i mean anything and everything is available to you i love it all right, so uh, once again, September 7th, uh, Rose Park. Yep, I, I got a real quick little Please. disclaimer thing. Yeah, yeah, let's do uh, it. Rose Music Hall is a cashless venue. Just remember that. Now, we'll take cash because we're not. You know, I, I our, only our take event. cash. Yeah, exactly. Um, or Bitcoin. Now, they will, they, will, uh, they will wand you at the entrance. So if you have like a small pocket knife or whatever, leave it in your car. Uh, no backpacks or large purchase, uh, purses are allowed. Um, uh, like I said, there is a restaurant that's going to be there. The, the, the Mexican restaurant should be open there, I'm hoping. Um, only registered service animals will be allowed. You can bring your own chairs to go sit what under the I, trees. What if, I, what if I have a service goat? Unfortunately. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea of that. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, I thought it was more of a band name, Service Goat. I thought it was a cool band name. Uh, but, I like it. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, uh, for the registered service animals, it's only dogs, and you're going to love this. Those little midget ponies, those are actually allowed. Wow. What a, what a strange world we're living in. But anyway, right? Best of luck if you have an, uh, any other type of service animal. But. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, I'm looking forward to the show. It's going to be a, a great time. It's a great tradition. You guys have been doing it for years and years. And uh, um, anyway, the music sounds great. So I imagine you're going to have going to have a great uh, a great event. Yeah. We hopefully we'll have a good turnout again. Like I said, we're shooting for a thousand. I mean, hey, if we get into the 800s, I'll be really happy too. So that, it's all good. It's all good. I want people to be able to know that they can see, they can hear it, they can see it. They are, you know, everybody's allowed in. Just be, you know, comfortable. Enjoy the music because that's all it is. It's a, it's a volunteer board. Uh, nobody gets, you know, there's no paid staff, nothing. It's all volunteer. Most all the money goes towards the festival. And, and we even, and just recently, we uh, got funding to be able to put some jazz bands into elementary schools this yeah. year. So I love it. we're very right. happy to start doing that again. Jeff, it's great work you're doing. I appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. Awesome. Appreciate the time. All right. Jeff Bassinson, the Mo Jazz Festival, September 7th, 2024. Catch that at Rose Park. It's going to be awesome. All right. All right, Jeff. Cheers, brother. All right. Take all care. Right. Yes. All right. Quickly. Uh, uh, Bud uh, from uh, Provoke the Colossus, grab a mic there, my brother. And, and, and Justin, I don't know if you're looking to say hi, but Justin Hickerson's here. I'm so excited to see Justin. It's been a few weeks. He's been so busy mowing grass because we've had so much rain this summer. Um, Bud, uh, uh, Bud McDonald from Provoke the Colossus, a uh, yeah. wonderful guitar player and a friend of ours, a friend of the program. Good to see you, brother. Good. Jeff, I love you, brother. Hey, how's it going? Right, yeah, good. Good to see you. Yeah. What's the latest? What's the latest? Uh, you know, writing... Uh, working on a little bit of recording. Haven't gotten too far on that, but we're writing. We got uh, a couple shows coming up. So, all right. What's uh, wh when's the next show? Uh, next show is next Friday at PDM Hell with yeah. uh, Gorehound, Vile Revelation, Fathom, and uh, Sacred Pyre. Now we're talking. All right, yeah, yeah. we got the, some metal <laughs> band names. Uh, and then the uh, yeah, tell and then the next week. Yeah, and then um, on the seventh, we're doing a, a skate event called Skate Seven. And they're donating, um, they're doing like a skate competition, and then there's us, DeGrave, Gorehound, and another band playing. And uh, they're donating all the proceeds to uh, Rape and Abuse um, Foundation. All right, good, good. Yeah. Kurt, I think you're right. I, I, I mean, your mic is on, but there's something not 
I don't think it seems to be. Say Did hello. Did you just say you thought? Well, was... I mean, it's on, but. Yeah, yeah, no. It's yeah. messed up. Yeah. It's messed up. It's, it's been oh, kind of okay. on and off for a while now. I mean, we're getting it, but we're just not, not getting all of it. So, anyway, that's the way it goes. Just like um, our relationship. And on so. And off. <laughs> uh, the, oh, boy, it's been uh, on and off. How's your, how's your new bass player working out? Oh, he's working out great. Um, he did, I think, have a tooth pulled yesterday, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, pu- I'm pulling for him. So <laughs> other than that, he's doing great. No, no, yeah. he's doing great. Yeah, we played a show a while back with him. That was pretty fun. But uh-huh. uh, yeah, two shows coming up. All right, uh, Columbia and Jeff City. All right, outstanding. Um, yeah. Stick around, all right? These guys are great. Yeah, How, absolutely. Did, did you know any of the of the, of the uh, folks in you, the other room? There? I don't think so but yeah i was definitely listening yeah we'll go over there and say hi all right oh absolutely um and then um well and i think they're just about ready to are you wanting to, i kind of want to get them in the studio here in? for a second yeah let's say let's say hi to, to ross outside? and those guys all right? all right all right let's do it um it's open mic radio kopn columbia 89.5 fm we're streaming on the web at kopn.org uh yeah <laughs> fire it up um, okay, so I don't have any particular uh, things that I have to do for the FCC, so... Cool. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hi. What's up? Not much. What's happening, Will? Uh, chilling like a villain, drinking sparkling water. All right. I'm chilling like Bob Dylan, drinking a red stripe. <laughs> uh, and uh, So let's say hi to Ross. We got Will, and I'm sorry I forgot... A Jack. That's Jack. Jack. Yeah. And on the drums... Quentin. Quentin. All right, um... We got George over in the corner. George in the corner. George, George in the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. George. I was thinking. I was thinking it was only a four piece. Anyway, um, uh, okay. So uh, <laughs> it is Highway Demon. Uh, thanks for coming down this afternoon, Ross. I've been trying to get Ross on this program for, for like years. Uh, uh, when I was doing it in the early mornings on Fridays, and um, you had a project called It's Me Ross that c- caught my attention back then. And uh, I know you're friends with Kevin, uh, Kevin Walsh, who's a big, big uh, part of the, of the radio station here and a good friend of mine. And also um, all the guys down at Hit Records uh, uh, and, and Tell em Tapes and that whole gang. So anyway, uh, thanks for being here. It's great that we finally got to do it. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, you and, 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 and this, this project, Highway Demon. Yes, Highway Demon is a severely... Rocking All right, so band. we're gonna switch that mic. I, I was just telling Kurt that that oh, mic was messed up. So, so you let's, guys, let's you, do a little share. You guys, you guys are gonna share, share the mic. Yep, you're gonna share. Go. All right. What you get All right, Ross, go on then. Yep. I know, I know. That's for you yelling Ross Shimba all the time. You broke the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. R- are you, are you a local guy, Ross? You from here originally? Yes. I was born and raised in Columbia, Missouri. I'm born in Boone Hospital. All right. All right. As was my brother Quentin. You guys are brothers. Yes, yeah, we're yeah. brothers. Okay. I mean, us and Will are all cousins. Keeping it in the family yeah, here. Very much. Yeah, found all out right. recently. Yeah, crazy. All right. Um, what's your musical background? I think you come from sort of a musical family. Is that right? I know your dad's a talented guy. Yeah, uh, my dad Todd. He plays in a. He's played in a bunch of bands in Columbia. Um, always been surrounded by it growing up. Um, so. Yeah, just kind of came naturally, I guess. And then I won't ask how you met your brother. That's obvious. But uh, <laughs> how, how'd you and Will and these other guys get connected to do this project? Uh, really, really just all the local scene, uh, a lot of punk shows and stuff like that, hanging around um, what there was like uh, PDM and Gay House back in the day. And um, I don't know, just kind of shout out to Nate and uh, PDM. He's a yeah, good, yeah. Good Nate show. Award, great yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, Will, what's your what's your connection here, and what's your background musically and all that? Are you, are you a local guy as well? I'm not a local guy. I was I was born in England. Um, I don't know. I've been playing in punk bands with George for a long time. Uh, and yeah, I mean uh, Ross doing his thing back in the day. Did, you just kind of ran into each other, or yeah. how'd you meet? Well, uh, pretty sure it was probably a pregnancy test show. Uh, <laughs> but um, the high school punk band. That's yeah, great. High, high school punk band. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we we never had any. I mean, we jammed one time when I was like fifteen, I think. Yeah. What's your, what's your uh, musical background? Uh, self taught. And, 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 like, and you're playing the bass for people who are. Listening yeah, here, yeah, right? I'm I'm I'm, rock, I'm rocking bass. Uh, self taught. Just I've, I've played in. I don't know how many bands I've been in, but a lot of a lot of bands. A right. lot lot of lot of fast fast hard bands is probably the first one that isn't screaming. But, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I like it. Actually, you, you guys are sounding great. So, cool, all right, let's, let's let's slide over to the right here. 
And you... This is our friend. Yeah. This is our friend Jack. Yeah. Jack, yeah. yeah. Jack's not part of the of, of the actual... I'm in, a, yeah. I'm in a band, New Hughes. Yeah. We Jack played and I, together last night. Yeah. yeah, we played the hit. We played the EP release show last night. All right. <clears throat> right on. Okay. Um, on the... Ba- uh, I'm sorry. On the other guitar, we have... George. 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 George, you want to say hi or no? Hello. Hi. <laughs> George in the corner. I want to ask really quickly, what kind of guitar do you play and what kind of setup do you have on your pedals? Um, it's a it's a Charvel, so like um Fender I don't know, Fender essentially created like a shred guitar company. Yeah, yeah, Charvel. He's Eddie Van Halen, right? <laughs> so it's like it's essentially just their take on a telly. I had a friend who played a Charvel, and I remember it didn't have tuning keys. It had little screws on the top of the of the yeah, like uh, of the head there, and you just crank the things down, yeah. and like you couldn't change the tuning of it or whatever. Yeah, that's got normal tuners on it. Yeah. But I like it. It's my favorite. What, what, what do you What do you play through? Uh, it's an orange a rocker verb that I got from my friend Zach for a very good deal. All right. Cool. Right on. Well, I appreciate the music, dude. Yeah, thank you. All right, on the drums, Ross's brother. Hello. Yes, I'm sorry, your name one more, one more time. Quentin. Quentin, with an O-N or an E-N? I-N. Uh, well, okay, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, All right, Quentin on the, on the, on the drums. Uh, I'm thinking younger brother? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, how much younger? Uh, like or is that a, is, can I say that on half a, two years yeah all right not 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 much but and you guys have been playing music together for like f- for, for for yeah yeah Quinn was in it's me Ross too yep uh, okay yeah yeah uh, who, who, was anybody else involved in that project there were a couple maybe one other person yeah uh Spencer and Marielle um they're in Tri-County Liquidators they also played with us yeah that mic's useless sea lark but I appreciate it practice um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this work there we go right no, okay. We just kind of crowd in on this yeah. one, then we're good. All right, where, where, where did the name Highway Demon come from? Um, I think I'll, I'll run the top It's me, Ross, is pretty obvious. <laughs> 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 Highway Demon was kind of like, um, I don't know, I felt like I was doing a lot of traveling at the time, and I just thought it was kind of a cool name. So, I don't know. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, you guys have new music, and you released it. Yesterday, I think. Yesterday, yeah. Right? Yesterday. Uh, on Tell em Tapes. Yep. Uh, five, six songs? How many? Uh, yeah, six, six actual songs. Um, there's like three interludes in there, so yeah. nine total. All right, cool. And, uh, and a fun show last night at Hit Records. Yeah, very much. Yeah. yeah. All it right, big shout out to... Tequila time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kyle and Trevor and the, and, and, the, and the gang over there. So Or Taylor, I should say. Taylor. Um, it, it, okay, anyway... Uh, what uh, what was it like last night? Was there was there a b- bunch of people coming down there, or was it kind of in and out, or was it a whole whole Kyle, night thing? Or? Kyle had a concerned look on his face. <laughs> and he said, he was "I'm worried about, about fire code." <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll say that. <laughs> That's not the first time. Yeah, <laughs> right. 107 total. Yeah, yeah. 107 Max total. Capacity. <laughs> Max capacity. Okay, so um, what's the uh, plans plans for the band? What what, what do you guys? Uh, is it, is this a project that you're serious about? You're gonna try to keep together. You know, the, I always, I say it often enough on this program that uh, keeping a band together is like keeping any relationship together. And in fact, it's more difficult because you're adding more. A two-person relationship is hard enough, and then you add a third and a fourth and whatever. Yeah, we're and into that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're gonna keep it going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was not Ross who said that. It was well <laughs> for all the listeners. <laughs> you know, they could actually impersonate one another. Actually, it's hard to tell if, if I'm not if I'm not looking. It's hard There's to tell which one's talking. So, uh, who's who else is helping out on the vocals? Uh, Will is, yeah. Will is was, Rachel. Uh, she did vocals on "Try Not to Notice." For Rachel's some out there. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good, how are you? It's not Rachel Kelly, is it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't have Get my... Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Hop on that mic. I'm on the mic. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm like, I'm like, a, I'm like a... She's tall, dark hair, maybe Rachel <laughs> yeah, Kelly. Yeah, you don't have your glasses right? on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your glasses on, but you can see the future. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love Rachel Kelly. She's awesome, and she's... Oh. Uh, I've been watching her and uh, listening to her performance, and she was a young woman. Like her, her and her sister had a band back in the high school days called Violence of the Violets, and, and we actually... They were, they, 
were one of the few bands that had the courage to come in here on a Friday morning at nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, and I skip class. <laughs> in in oh. true in true rock and roll fashion. All right. And uh, I I loved it. And um and I and I I thought Leica was a really cool project. And uh, and I'm thrilled that you're. You know, you know, Rachel's um, got some action with the Blue Note, and she's busy as a professional woman these days. Uh, no, I mean that seriously. Uh, and um, uh, but I'm 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 glad that you're still staying in the music scene too, because you got you got you got it. So thank you, Mike. That's very sweet. Yeah. So what what's your connection to these guys? You're like, no clue. You're, you're like yeah. as, as little as possible. Yeah, I see them whenever I can. No, <laughs> they invited me. I think one of you texted me to just come sing on a song. Um, and then I forgot to learn it, so I showed up and I tried really hard. It took like 50 takes, but they were very nice. It made the cut. Yeah, it was All great. Right. Somehow, I thought I was gonna get fantastic. cut out. No. <laughs> Is that a song you guys are gonna play this afternoon? Yeah, yes. I think we're playing it next. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna sing? Well, I've not practiced it. Well, you never do. I think Will took. <laughs> Damn. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try my best to do a great, a great harmony, which will probably not be that great. But uh, if, if it's that, that bad, Rachel knows what to do. Well, I like harmonies. So, okay. so we, don't, we don't have. A, there's not enough of that going on these days. No, I have to. Uh, do the you know, harmony. and as a quick um, uh, sort of tip of the hat to uh, a wonderful band from Jeff City called Downside Up. Uh, and again, brothers, actually, they're twin brothers in that band. This is a three-piece, sort of like the power trio sort of thing. But they're actually performing at the, uh, the, the, the Buds Blues and Barbecue Festival coming up in September. And I love, uh, I love those guys, and they do great harmonies. Mm. And, they're, and, they're, and actually, they're brothers that grew up playing and singing together. And I think that's clearly... Do you, do you sing, Quinn? Uh, not really. Yeah, so much for that... For that. <laughs> That idea, but I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> All right, why don't you guys scoot on back to the to the uh, performance arena, okay. and we will get ready to hear some uh, some more live music okay. from Highway Demon. You guys are awesome. Hey, R Ross, um, uh, quickly, and Will uh, online if people want to find you and get you to play gigs or find your music, whatever. Uh, Highway Demon on Instagram, uh, or any of our personal Instagrams. Mine is Wound of Nature. He uses the Highway Demon Instagram if you wanna. You really want to get to us? That's how you find us. All right, and Say you're and you're Sophie. actively uh, looking for uh, for live performances, and you're going to be out on the road. You're gonna, are you planning on doing any touring? And uh, late, maybe later this year. I'm I'm working on some stuff. So what? we're going on a short run in late September to yeah, Kansas City and and uh, <laughs> Iowa City. So we'll we'll have a two two date mini tour, and then I'm working on New York and all those places on the on the east coast all right i feel like we're not going to have too much more time to talk so I'm, i, I want to ask quickly about the recording of this most recent uh a tape that you guys did yeah. where where did you actually do the recording in my bedroom all right and you've got like the, the computer setup or whatever yeah we got i got my room and then like right next to it there's a uh, like a kitchen area so i got a drum set up in front of a kitchen with the um <laughs> with with the computer set up and we just kind of like one track everything and, and hammer it out all right. Go nuts on the mixing and. Uh, do you have plans uh, to record more music? Are you guys constantly writing or? or what? Definitely, yeah. We have um, probably most of an album already, uh, like riff wise, worked out. Uh, still working on some lyrics. We want to book some studio time, um, like an actual studio here soon, and hammer all those out and get something out here soon. All right. Well, yeah. I, I, I look forward to it. You guys are making great music, and uh, I, I'm hoping to hear more of it. So, uh, we will hear more of it actually in a few minutes here. So, why don't you guys? Do it. All right, see you on the other side. All right, we'll see you on the other side. Cool. All right, it's uh, Highway Demon. We've got the whole band with us this afternoon. They're performing live at the station, and I'm thrilled to have them here. Uh, uh, once again, uh, a shout-out to uh, Hit Records uh, and uh, all the guys and girls down there that are promoting awesome music, both uh, local, regional, and, uh, you know, a, on, on a larger scope. So... Um, Sophie is uh, here with us as well, and, and she's got the headphones on, so it looks like she wants to say hi. Hi, Sophie. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? Do you know? You must know Rachel or something. Yeah, you seem we like live your together. Friend, like, oh well, there you go. Actually, yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, and uh, you're a fan of the band, clearly. Yes, I am. Okay, we won't ask. <laughs> I, we, we we won't dig any deeper than that. They're fine, I All guess. Right. They no, are. They, they are pretty fun. <laughs> All right, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. Um, somebody out there, tell me when those guys are ready, and we will, uh, we will uh, start off at the top of the hour here with some rock and roll from Highway Demon. 
and we'll let them roll for uh, 30, 40 minutes here as long as they'd like to, okay? So um, in, in the meantime, if you want to give me a call, 573-443-8255. Where's Justin? Uh, he, he didn't even say hi. <coughs> um, yeah, you guys ready? Okay, all right, let's do it. Um, uh, once again, Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, and uh, we're going to slide it over to uh, Dylan and Highway Demon. Demon. All right, let's do it. Yeah. This room's a little bit. Anytime you guys are ready. And I'll turn the lights down. Get our bag up. I don't even think I'm going to attempt the, the Rachel harmony, so sorry to all the listeners. Rachel, get But just know there. she's sitting right in front of me. So if I'm feeling pretty brave, I might give it a shot. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Rock concert. <laughs> Rock concerts are cool and they're back. Oh, yeah. yes. All right. Uh, I am going to be very brief here because we're going to get as much music as we can out of Highway Demon this afternoon. But anyway, you guys, awesome. Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, Highway Demon. We got them for another 30 minutes or 35, as much as they've got in them. And uh, we'll be back in a few, all right? Uh, check it out on the web, kopn.org. And uh, yeah, right on. Cool. Lore? 
Huh? Rock talk. Rock talk. Rock talk. Ready? Oh, give me an e. Give me an e. Sounds like an E. Thanks, y'all. Thank, Thank you very much.
Tired eyes and swim back to back. Oh. Let's get it. sent me a text that said that Dylan had a great mix going on. Uh, th 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 thank you for that. So uh, let's get back to Highway Demon. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPM. Uh, we're going to do a little... Do a little... Cheerleader! Cheerleader! Yes. I'll play Beautiful. blast beats on the side. What's up? All right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I'm loving it, actually. Thanks, Sophie. All right, this one's for everybody that likes to crack up in a cold one on a Saturday night, even when it's cloudy out. What am I saying? Bow, bow. Tight. This next one's called. <laughs> this one's called Swim. Take a, dip, take a dip in the doink sometime. All right. Take a dip in the doink. Right. Our favorite spot to swim. Guys, do swim. Sip a margarita, maybe.
Highway Demon Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. What's All right. cooking, good looking? All right. <laughs> More drums. Let's get it. Ready? More Drum cowbell. Fear. 
Drink soda water, take vitamins. How you guys for time? We're, uh, you tell me. We got, uh, we're about 520, so. Five more hours! We got plenty, we got 13, maybe 12 or 13 more songs, man. I love the way you're thinking. Uh, no, you guys good for a couple more? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. All right, let's we get going. All right, we got open a mic lot. radio, KOPN yeah. Columbia. Right. Highway Demon with us this afternoon. Awesome. All right, uh, on the web, find them. Right. One for the rockers. If you're driving a truck down the road, never forget. Remain fearful. <laughs> Yeah, Highway Demon. Ah! It's open mic radio, KOP in Columbia. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah. Y'all want to do chemistry? What do you oh, want to yeah. do? My time to shine. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, this next one is chemistry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Another one for the truckers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So something always 
something to kill the mood But I guess that's what we share Can't feel it all, touching in the air It's not even real, I don't even care I'm really charming up, but I don't think I'm scared Muddled thoughts and muddy water They get sick of those brown bottles He said, she said, all the fake shit
lights come down If you never get lost, you're never gonna get found All up in a rat race, chasing dollars of strength On a sack up on my chair to get me what I need FM, we've got Highway Demon rocking and rolling the station this afternoon, and uh, apparently they're going to keep it rolling here. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it rocking. Shout out to Bannister Tarleton and the Bannister Tarleton band. They're listening this afternoon, and, and uh, Bannister just sent me a note and said, "My new favorite band." Yeah, so, thanks. So, so they're digging, yeah. it, they're, they're digging it out there, and uh, and we, we love all you out there, and and uh, thanks for listening. All right. Love K you, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's Highway Demon on KOP. This one uh, I hope is being transmitted right to Kyle Cook's living room. <laughs> all right. Oh. <laughs> he has a living room. <laughs> oh, something like that. We'll the rock with it. All right, Kyle, this one's for you, baby. All right. He's at home. He's sitting on the couch. He's making great food. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. No, shit. No. Four, one, two, three. Should they nice for the rest of my days Even though it's don't always go right I just go back cause I'm stuck in my ways Burn one for the occasion At least that's what I say I'm stuck with this until tomorrow I get a head start with tonight I let a chance slip a time and I borrowed Only time will tell but for now I'm alright even when I put in hard work And all the same memories up in my face Sometimes it seems that will be a solution Guess I'm slow even at my own pace Burn one for the occasion At least that's what I say I'm stuck with this up for tomorrow I'll get a head start with tonight I let a chance live a time and I borrow but for now I'm alright I will rethink it This in a way that I like I will rethink it This in a way that I like The dream 
thank you. Holy crow. <laughs> As my grandpa used to say. All right, that's good stuff. It's Highway Demon on Open Mic Radio, KLP in Columbia. Uh, you got, you're saving one for the end of the show, right? You got, you, you got, a, got a couple more left in you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep, let's keep it going, all right? You guys, uh, um, we'll do a couple more, and then we'll run back into the suit. Actually, we can do it from here, because Dylan's got this set up so well. Okay. And maybe we'll say goodbye and uh, a quick uh, wrap-up, and then we'll play one more on the yeah. way out of here, okay? Sounds great. All, all right. right, it's Open Mic Radio, KLP in Columbia. Uh, super thrilled to have Highway Demon with us this afternoon. They're just tearing it up here in the station. Uh, and uh, hope you're enjoying yourselves, and here's more.
if you're listening, put your ear right up to right the speaker. <laughs> All right, you guys got another one for us here? It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia. Uh, Highway Demon. All right? All right? <laughs> All right, so that's two. All right, so so do all the time, and then we'll take a break for a minute. We'll say goodbye, and we'll close out with all the hash. Sounds good. All right, it's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia, 89.5 FM. All right, do the robot to this one. All right, good? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> smokes okay you guys take a break for a minute okay right. it's highway demon out absolutely outstanding uh you're listening to it here it's open mic radio KOP in columbia we're getting sort of tight against the clock but i want to get one from paul and from uh from dylan here so let's let's let the let, let, let the demons take a break for a minute here but not a long one maybe a couple three and uh we'll get one from paul and uh and dylan two-thirds of uh of the project called zawata and uh, uh, of course, Forrest uh, Forrest Wilson, the third third part of that project, a wonderful guitarist in his own right. So, anyway, um, we'll get Paul and uh, and Dylan. You guys, you guys, man, they're quick. They're about ready anyway. So, yeah, just a quick one here from Paul and Dylan, and then we'll come back. We'll have one more from Highway Demon, and then we will uh, say toodaloo and uh, welcome. Uh, 
Ross Shimba at a reggae party, all right? It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia, and uh, this is uh, Zawata. Hey, give them some light, Kurt, if they need some light. Hey, Mr. Light Man, turn the lights up. Helpful to tune.
How about it? All right, Dylan McCord, Paul Meyer, that's two thirds of the band Zawata. See him with Forrest Wilson at the Buds, Blues, and Barbecue Festival. Uh, you, Buds, Blues, and Barbecue. What, what are you playing? Are you playing b between now and then? I imagine, maybe? Paul's uh, playing everywhere all the time. Probably so, Guerrilla right? Warfare stuff. Uh, hey, uh, I'll uh, turn uh, off the uh, let's, let's get Highway Demon back in here, Kurt. Oh, and, yeah. and hey, uh, Me Highway Demon. Me Memphis Chris. Get Memphis in here. I want to hear about the Flood Brothers show last night. What's that? What? We, we, let's use the microphones in here because I'm uh, to do Mem do our little Memphis Minute thing. Grab, grab that one that, uh, that that Dylan has. You can use you can use that mic. But what? But you were okay. So um, yeah, that's you. Uh, Okay, we're, 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 we're against the clock here. It's Open Mic Radio, KLP on Columbia. Stick around, Ross Shum at a reggae party in just a few minutes. Ross we, we, we've, we, we've got one more from Highway Demon before we wrap things up here. Uh, but, uh, um, I want to, uh, uh, next week, we will, uh, on the, actually, we're gone next week. I'm going, I'm going to Colorado. My, my, uh, my son-in-law had a baby. Uh, well, his wife did, right? <laughs> No, I mean, these days you don't know, right? So, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, well, I guess, you have, I, guess, I guess you haven't been paying attention. So, anyway, I'll be gone next week. We'll be back on the 7th of, no, of uh, September with all the bands that are performing at the Buds, Blues, and Barbecue Festival uh, on the 13th and 14th of September, which is going to be an outrageously cool show. So, um, anyway, uh, Chris, uh, so the Flood Brothers Flood will be Brothers performing are, on the 14th. Yeah, they're actually they're headlining going. the show on the 14th. And how was it? It was great. We rocked at least our faces off and at least <laughs> maybe a few others. All right. So we had a great time. But little vignette is that I had a little, uh, uh, so I, I was playing with I know those cables in front. Yeah. And turns out one of the cables was moving, and I had a little snake on the stage. <laughs> really? A little king snake. Yeah, Whoa. it looks like a coral. Is not. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was so. And I didn't freak out, but it was like I like moved my bag, but it kind of slid across the stage. So one of the hazards of playing in Cooper's, man, you might have a snake on your stage. But. <laughs> all right. All right. I love it. That's all I got. That's all I got. All right, let's get let's get one here uh, and get out of here. All right, uh, it's Highway Demon. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Uh, find them on the web. It's pretty easy. Uh, I'm 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 just thrilled that you're doing what you're doing, Ross, uh, and and the band just outstanding. So um, let's get one more from them, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. All right. This is uh, the second to last song on the most recent record. Check it out. Here in the water. What if people want to get the CD? Or I'm sorry, the, the tape from Hell. Findless. I gonna, think they're at Hit Records. Yeah, Hit Records. <laughs> We're going to drop something off at King Theodore also. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Right. All right. What's your... Uh... Sounds good. Sounds okay. good. Ready? Righto. <laughs> Stranger. We all say 
Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Woo! Thanks so much. We are so happy. We just dropped EP Healing so Water. Oh, oh, <laughs> Absolutely oh, amazing. All right. It's Highway Demon. And uh, hey, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much once again. Find them. Find them on the web, uh, easy enough, right? Highway Demon, Ross and Company, awesome stuff, all right? Um, okay, it's Open Mic Radio, and we're going to scoot on out of here. Uh, email address, Mike Hagan at MikeHagan.com. Website, podcast, all that stuff. Send me music if you'd like to appear on the show. Uh, yeah, all right. Hey, you... check out Morgan, maybe, at uh, Twin uh, Lakes. Yeah, Morgan, Morgan. Morgan that does uh, Motherland Jam, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll be, he'll be I performing. he's performing up there tonight. Yeah, it's called Universal Drum Appeal. Um, yeah. So... All right, yeah, uh, up that way. you've been listening to Open Mic Radio, all right, uh, here on KOPN Columbia. Yeah, you have, baby. Enjoy the weekend. Woo! Right? Cool to yourself, cool to other people out there. Stick around. Rosh Hashem been a reggae party coming at you. Rosh we'll catch y'all next week. Kurt, Memphis, Sea Lark, get us out of here. Once again, thanks to Highway Demon. <laughs>